Hi, I'm Hayden Blackie, and I'm Head of Learning and Teaching at the University of South Wales, which is based in Pontypridd in the Welsh Valley. Wonderful. Hayden, I have a question for you regarding leadership challenges. Uh, today's online learning environment is a rapid moving stream. Any thoughts on how today's uh, leadership can be prepared to maneuver in that stream? I think it's a matter of being open to and aware of what's going on around the periphery of, of online learning, but also recognizing that some of the things that look bright and shiny today are not going to be around forever. And one of the challenges of leaders is identifying those things which it's worth investing time in to get a sense for, and those things for which you think, well, yeah, it's going to be a really interesting idea, but it isn't going to stick. And I guess everybody at conference this year will be talking about uh, MOOCs, Massive Open Online Courses, and one of the things is that we've seen models like this that have developed before, and they've not been sustainable. They've been a bright idea, everybody's been keen on, let's do it this way. And what, what ends up being sustainable is a focus on the learner and the way our courses are designed to meet the learner's needs. And while MOOCs are good at building resources, and I'm a big fan of open education resources, the actual learning engagement is the bit that's going to matter, the bit that makes a difference between bright and shiny a long-term impact and for me balancing those sensing of what's coming next with let's put our resources in things that are going to matter is one of the key tasks of a leader what strategy do you use to keep up with all of these because uh, you sort of have to know what's happening with the bright shining objects yeah I think one of the things that's been really uh, much easier now than it was say 10 years ago is through using RSS feeds by collecting them together having a quick scan every morning just identifying some of the leaders in the field and say, oh, what are they talking about? And sometimes, you know, people say, well, you're a leader in the field, so what are you talking about? And it is a matter of give or take. And so sometimes drawing those ideas from others and then forming them as an opinion former into the sector myself is part of the role. And I always feel, you know, whenever I publish a blog post, or even when I write a, something short and pithy on Twitter, I'm contributing to the conversation of which I'm a hugely beneficial recipient. And I know talking to my colleagues in the work environment, many of them who are not used to juggling multiple inputs think, oh, how can there be so much you can take in? But actually that sense of scanning and having the confidence in your own knowledge and understanding to filter all that scanned stuff and focus on what matters is the bit that stops you from going insane and working you know, uh, uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Getting that, that, that balance is about choosing and making actions on the things that really matter. Thank you so much, Aidan. Words of uh, wisdom. Thank you. You're very welcome.